Don't eat all the fritter. I want more fritter. Hey guys, it's Molly here again for another video, for another taste test, and I'm so excited. If you hadn't seen the first taste test I did, I'll link it in the description box below. It was a Health Nuts Try Junk Food for the first time, and it was my mom and I trying like classic kid foods that I never really ate growing up. Um, we don't get cookies, we don't buy cakes, we don't have ice cream in the house, we don't even like really go out for it much. Um, like we'll get dessert, like on a menu at a restaurant the odd time, but for the most part we don't eat kind of that types of food. So the first taste test was tricky for me. A lot of the foods I definitely did not like, nor did my mother. But this taste test, because you guys like demanded more taste tests, which that's awesome. I'm so glad you guys like taste tests as much as I like watching taste tests, because I watch a lot of taste tests on YouTube. So I'm excited to actually get to do them and actually get to eat the food and not just listen to somebody else eat the food, which is what you guys are currently gonna be doing. Um, but I'm excited because this is donuts, which a lot of people like. A lot of people like donuts. I generally don't, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm usually not a donut person. Like, I'm not gonna go to a coffee shop and get a donut with my coffee, you know what I mean? It's not my thing. I find them very doughy, very heavy in my stomach. But then my friend a few days ago was telling me about this place that isn't that close to me, but it was close enough that it was worth going when she was telling me about it. Um, it's called Sunshine Donuts. I have a bag here as well as a huge box beside me. So it's called Sunshine Donuts and she was telling me they just have like all these crazy flavors and they have this like super cute little cafe and they have like coffee and tea and all the donuts and this is an apple fritter. Um, and it was just so cute sounding that I was like, I've got to do a taste test on that. They wanted another taste test. I'm going to deliver with donuts. And uh, I left my guide dog Gallop at home when I went to grab them quickly. And he was so upset. When I got home, he freaked out. I wish I caught it on tape for you guys because he's never freaked out so much. Now, this is a massive, massive. Like, it's the size of my head. Uh, and as you can see, a little nibble's been taken out. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who took a nibble. <laughs> my mom was so excited about this, she couldn't even wait in the car. So I haven't tried it, but my mom has, and now I'm finally gonna get to. It's so glossy and glazed up. Okay, I'm ready. Oh my God. Mmm. Words don't describe this. Oh, I could eat this all in one sitting. This might be the size of my face, but this is my dinner. Like this is, I know I probably have <laughs> icing and crumbs all over. I almost wore a white denim jacket to do this taste test, which is what I was wearing over the shirt today. And um, I'm glad I didn't because I can already tell that this is going to get messy. I probably should have brought napkins down. Hindsight's 2020. Now we have the real thing. I know I started a donut taste test with an apple fritter, but now we have here. I'm gonna try to show you because my mom said it's a super cute box. This is like their logo on the top. It's like a what color is it again? A vivid pink. It's a vivid pink donut, and, uh, and then it's like dripping down. It has a little heart, and then when you open it, and everybody at the cafe was so sweet, and like I said, the location itself was like really cute. And then it says sunshine right there. I hope you guys can see it. And then inside I got six donuts to taste. So I just had them pick whichever ones they wanted for me. I just said like, pick your favorites. So that's what they did. And uh, the only one I requested was lemon because I really love lemon. So that's the one I'm gonna start with, which is right here. As you can probably see, it's like very glossy and glazed up. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. It's a really nice consistency. It's like super light. Mmm. And it's like, it's a zesty lemon. Like it's a sharp, if you don't like lemon, you wouldn't like it because it's, it's a very true sharp lemon taste with a bit of sweetness. 
and then the really soft, light, airy donut, which I like because I don't like dense donuts. Like, that's the part of donuts I don't like. So, that's a good start. I'm, I'm not mad at that. I like it because it's not too sweet. It's good. It's good. Okay, this is number two. Sprinkles! This is like a classic sprinkle donut. So, let's give it a go. This is the one my friend says amazing. Okay. Mmm! This is so good. I wish you guys could taste this with me. Mmm! I'm sorry for eating with my... or talking with my mouth with dough in it, but... Man, that's a good donut. It's definitely sweeter than the one that I just ate, but it's not, like, I wouldn't eat an entire one of this one, but I would definitely want a few bites, you know? It's really good. This would be a good one to share with somebody. Unless you're super into heavy, like, very, very sweet, then you'd want the whole thing, but that's very good. This one I'm really excited about. This is a chocolate M&M donut, and I love M&Ms and I love chocolate, so I have high hopes. Okay, let's go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I would say this one isn't as unique tasting. Like, the other two, I feel like I've never tried a donut like it. This one I think you could remake. I'm not saying it's bad by any means, like, it's a very good chocolate donut. And the M&M's add like a nice texture to it. But I think this you could find at a different donut shop. Whereas the other two, I haven't tasted a donut like them. So you might hear some chewing in the corner. <laughs> and that's because Mama Bear could not resist eating some of my apple fritter. Which actually I think is my favorite thing so far. Which is kind of sad because it's a donut taste test. But the apple fritter is so bomb. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Really good. Not, like these are too, but... I think that's my favorite so far. Um, so I just had my mom grab me tissue, save the day, got the, the, I was gonna say cupcake, got the donut off the face, just in time for donut number four. This is Dolce de Leche. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm sure somebody will tell me that I'm not. But let's get a try. Mmm. Ooh. This is my favorite donut. It's been decided this is the favorite donut. That's really good. And it's actually, it is quite sweet, but such a unique flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm. It has these little crunchy toffee bits on top. Mm. That's a real good donut, okay? That is some delicious stuff right there. Now, this one I'm really intrigued by. This is cookie batter, and I don't know what a cookie batter donut would taste like. I feel like it smells like chocolate because it's been sitting up against the other ones. This one feels more um, like squishy or melty. I don't know. Okay, let's give it a go. Mmm. The donut part on the bottom is obviously like the same on all of them. But it's really good. Like, that's good donut base. They've mastered the donut base way more than any other donut place I've ever tried. Like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to give all these to, like, my, my friends and stuff. Like, I probably won't like them. No. I'm eating all of these. <laughs> Molly's gaining five pounds tonight. This is my dinner. You don't have to cook, Mom. <laughs> I'm good with this. All right, this is the last one, and I'm, like, kind of sad it's coming to an end. This is a filled donut. This is Burley Cream, which I'm guessing is like a Boston cream? I don't know. So, let's try it. It has chocolate on top, which I'm all about. I'm gonna have to try to get to the filling. We'll see how, how into this I have to get to find the filling. Mmm, not yet. <laughs> You might be thinking that's a really small bite. That's like as big a bite I can do, you know? I got a small mouth. I'm a small girl. It's like squishy. You can like, oh, oh, a, a burst through. There it is. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that taste. Let's bite into the middle. 
The filling, when I lift it off my finger, not good on its own. The filling with the chocolate and donut, really good. This would not be the one I would order if I went in, but you're not gonna go wrong. You're not gonna go wrong with any of these. I wish I could be like Shane when he does his, his taste tests. He's so picky. Not me, I'm like, food, this is good. Okay, I'm gonna rank an order if I was to go back to sh Sunshine, to Sunshine Donuts and order more, what order I would get them in. So number one would be the apple fritter. I know, going to a donut shop and getting an apple fritter, but honestly, so good. And good if you're not super into sweetness, because obviously a cake batter donut is going to be more sweet than an apple fritter. So apple fritter was bomb. Number two is gonna be Dolce de Leche. That was really good. Number three is gonna be lemon. Number four is gonna be sprinkles. Number five is going to be cake batter. Number six is going to be, I think tied at the end. Mm, yeah, I would get the, the filled one that I just had at the end before I would get the chocolate M&Ms, which is surprising. I'm surprising myself with that because it's just, like I said, it's not as unique, I think, as the other flavors. If you're not adventurous with your donut tasting, go for that one. Like if you like chocolate and you just want a good chocolate donut, like a good chocolate glazed donut um, with maybe a little bit of something, that's a good donut. So if you're not, if you don't want to be adventurous because, you know, these are like relatively pricey, uh, worth it in my opinion, but they are relatively pricey. So if you were like, mm, I don't want to spend $5. I don't know how much they are. I can't remember, but X amount of dollars on a donut and not like it because I took a risk. If, you want, if you're a safe person, get get the chocolate m and one. But it wouldn't be what I would get if I'm going to like a specialty, unique donut shop. So this is the result at the end. They all have like little, little bites out of them. And um, mm, this was a really good decision. I'm glad you wanted another taste test. I don't know if this was as amusing because I liked the food so much. And I feel like it's not as amusing to watch me enjoy eating. Um, but I really enjoyed this. So kudos to you, Sunshine Donuts. 10 out of 10 recommend. Uh, if you want to see me eat more donuts, apparently there's another good donut shop relatively close by called Granddad's Donuts or something like that. So I, I am now converted to being a donut lover. I was like a donut eh before. Now I'm like a donut mm-hmm, thumbs up. So I'm happy about this. Sunshine, you converted me to being a donut lover. And now I, I kind of want to do more donut taste tests. So let me know, what do you want next? Like weird cupcake flavors, more donuts. What do you want to see me eat next? Comment down below what you would want to see me try. Um, and I would be totally down to do another taste test. So just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my very like messy donut face <laughs> throughout this video and watching me chew. I hope it was somewhat enjoyable for you. Um, please subscribe if you want to join the family and see more videos from me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.